friends, it's Miss Kathy from Adams Memorial Library. Today I'm going to present to you this lovely rocking snowman. This is part of the library's participation in our Holly Jolly celebration. So as you know, as the song goes, even if there is no snow, then we can still have a snowman. So we're going to be using a kit that you'll pick up at the library at the Art Center or the Chamber of Commerce. If you're joining us from somewhere outside of the Latrobe area and you can't make it to any of those locations to pick up the supplies, I'll show you how, what you need at the end to get your own snowman made and go from there. So you're going to be getting a pack from the library and the Art Center or the Chamber of Commerce. And in the pack, you're going to get two pre-made snowman bodies. You're gonna get a couple of the hats, and then you're gonna get some of the scarves, as well as bands for the hat. In addition to the paper items, you're also going to get a box with some small crayons, and you're gonna get a glue stick. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is take the hat and one of the red bands for the hat and we're going to glue it on. I find that it's easier if you take the hat band and apply the glue to the back of it and then you'll just take the hat and position it on. And so you want to get it on there. Um, it's okay if it overhangs the sides of the hat just a little bit. That'll work. So set this aside and then you're going to want to take one of the snowman bodies and one of your uh, scarves. Now you can use the scarf the way it is or if you get one of the ones that's a flat edge if you have scissors at home, you can take the scissors and give it a jaunty uh, triangle clip, or you can cut it and make it kind of like a little bit of fringe at the end and give it a little bit of a curl, or you can curl it around your finger and give it a bit of a bend. So whichever way you'd like to do that, when you figure that out, then you want to figure out where about on your snowman you want it to go. So I think I want mine to go about there. So once again, I'm going to take the glue stick and apply the glue to the back of the scarf. And then I'm going to take the snowman body and line it up right about there and put it on. Okay, so now that we have sort of our neck to the snowman, we're going to take the crayons and we're going to draw on a bit of a face. Okay, so in the crayon packs, uh, you can choose what kind of face you want for your snowman. You can choose to have eyes made of coal. You can have a carrot nose. You can have berry uh, dots for your face, or you could have a nose with a uh, green bough of fresh pine or some other uh, dried sticks, whatever you'd like. So I'm going to draw some coal eyes onto my snowman here and a little bit of a carrot nose and then I'm going to take and put some berries on my snowman to make a bit of a face. So when you're done, the face will look kind of like that. You can then choose to add some buttons down the front. Now the buttons can match your scarf or not. It's up to you. And then for the end, what you're going to do is take your little hat, 
And this time, I recommend using the glue on this. And then you'll take your hat, and with the band side, you can put it on. Now, you can put it on kind of straight like that. Or if your snowman is perhaps a little adventurous, maybe you put it on with a, a bit of an angle. So it's sort of a jaunty snowman. And then you're done. Your snowman will rock. You'll see how it kind of weevil wobbles. We've given you two, so you can give a uh, try and see how you like to decorate each of them. You can make them the same or different. And so that is our craft for the Holly Jolly. I hope you've enjoyed doing this craft with me, friends. If you haven't stopped in La Trobe and gotten supplies and you want to try this at home, you're going to need a few extra things. You'll need a pair of scissors and you'll need a plain paper plate. You can see I've got a real simple one here with the ridges. So just an inexpensive paper plate. What you're gonna to wanna to do is cut the paper plate in half, and then you're gonna fold very carefully the snowman, and you wanna get it so that in the back, you get a bit of an overlap. And I know it's hard to see, friends, because it's kind of shiny, but it'll overlap. And so you'll just take some glue and you'll put some of that on. And then wrap it around. And you may have to hold it in place for a little bit because it does take a while for the glue. And then flatten it once it's dry. And there you go. You can make more snowmen, as many as you'd like. Maybe you'll have a whole village of them and they can all visit each other. So goodbye, friends. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I hope it's filled with lots of holly and jolly and lots of fun and fabulous snowmen. So until next time, goodbye and holly jolly. <laughs>